Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, you're gonna see me take on a rank four apocalypse war boss. I did not know when I did the fight that it was a rank four apocalypse. I only found that out a few minutes ago when I was editing the video and looked to see what rank he actually was. Rank four. All right, so I'm not going to add any commentary for the fight. I'm just going to put a little music in the background and let you guys enjoy the fight. And then after the fight is over, you're going to hear my commentary and my analysis of the fight and why Spider-Man 2099 was such a good option for this and other war bosses. All right, so enjoy the fight. Okay. Made a mistake saying I cannot run this race. It's playtime. I'm gonna crush your face. This is not a face. Hey guys, I know you feel that face. Roll with that until you see my face. Rising from a thick layer of fog at midnight. There's a time and a place to kill it. I spill it. Leak documents from a flaming tongue. Rappers act so safely, but not long ago you were baking, cuz. And now they catch the aroma. Wonder what the kid is baking up. Add a little secret ingredient. They're needing to get something for waking up. My flow was caffeine, and I'm the black king of spades. Among smaller cards and that scream, you hear is mad heat. I am the daddy of cracking the bones of the flashiest chic. No f***s given. As I grow up in a robust prison, everything I think I need is already given. For some reason, I am hardly living. Physical needs are what can't be controlled. Give a kid candy, take away his soul. Can't tell the difference between hot and cold. My senses are dipped and I'm sold. But as the credits start to roll, I wake up and I miss the movie. The people around me are swarming like they just saw something that's dooming. Now they're telling me that I miss a lot and I gotta go back and see it. Yet everyone who was watching came at that with a crooked demeanor. These subtleties and half-truths are running my country at large. Shipping this garbage by every ocean, I'm about to sink the barge. Health, war, famine, and money, get rid of those and we have no country. What happened to thinking people love me? These relationships feel so ugly. It's like we're speaking on the surface, but something sounds scripted about all the verbiage Like everything we think came from another person And we didn't take time to think if it's worth it To act as a service to only a few human perspectives Now we got humanity section by politics, culture, religion, perspective None of us have accurate depth of perception It's been messed with and I feel headless No wonder I'm trying to convert that dude in the uniform to a dead bitch Get this, my head is full of death cuz It's a dead ship full of phantoms and redness On the walls from the plus shed it. No angels left in heaven in eternity I'm the one they sent in Close your eyes and get in This is one hell of a head trip Most isolated, now watch that echo I'm isolated everywhere like presto I don't really know how to keep a friend Something that they don't get though And that sparks my Roscoe Now I'm fucking with all your heads, yo Through the scope rooftop and I'm bent low Between heaven and ghetto It appears that I'm on top now Figured out there's layers to this Apply to the cycle, now I can keep riding vibrant Fineness when I pipe these hits And I like this sh Feels good, expelling this energy. Anyone who comes that way looking for trouble is immediately gonna be sent to me. Something like a silent undertaker. I don't really need to do too much. Just sit here with the mirror to your face till you either decide to wake up or lose touch. I didn't come to make the choice for you. Cough if you choose not to make it. Excuse my hatred, I try not to say this. Just leave it for now and then use it for beta. Try makes tell me stay up. I accept the same love to the same ones. When a world made is filled with fake ones, settled in lake fronts, trying to shake up. The whole scene, they lean on the things from the beams of the TV screens. Latching on every single get rich scheme. That's not the dream, and they're taking yours free. Hey, Spike, why the f you gotta go there? We bump your music when we're drinking and we kick it. Friends and family, drinking liquor, good spirits. A lot of people I know don't wanna hear this. You're really asking for it, Sonny. I really don't wanna do it. You insist on doubting everything I say and challenging the movement. And the troops are called in. I was going easy on them, now I'm all in. Think you're strong enough? Then take us all then. Over the Sultan, somewhere dark we assault him. Kill the king, kill the prince, kill them all then. Open the doors to the children of the fallen. An army of dictators couldn't match my space invaders. Take them in the trunk, yeah, if not mindful of what they're saying. And I'm not playing, I know it sounds pretending. I might be quite pretentious. Here's some knowledge I'm lending. My name withholds a legend of a king losing his head in. That's my definition of he who had to say.
right, so you just saw me fight Apocalypse with Spider-Man 2099. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why he is such an awesome boss killer. And I know at uh, high tiers in war, they ban him. Let's take a look at his abilities. So he does not actually need to be awakened to make him a boss killer. All right. So you see his ruptures have a chance not to be consumed when a burst of physical damage. So that makes it so that he does more damage. OK, uh, more consistent damage. Uh, combat rate, power rate when the opponent is affected uh, by a wither debuff. He has higher combat rate so he can generate power a little bit more. But these are not the things that make him a boss killer. Okay. So first of all, he doesn't gain buffs. So he's great for fighting like Mojo. All right. Uh, whenever he would gain a buff, he pauses his personal debuffs. Okay. While dodging backwards, he's not struck by attacks. That's nice too. But here. That third bullet point, this is what, in my opinion, makes him so good as a boss killer in Alliance War. So he has a 75% damage resistance if the opponent is under the effect of True Strike or if the hit deals true damage. Well, all Alliance War bosses if I remember correctly, have true strike. I can't remember if they also have true damage, but they have one or the other or both, okay? Which means no matter who they put up there as the Alliance War boss, Spider-Man 2099 is going to have 75% damage resistance. So during the fight, I run suicides. Did you notice that I wasn't taking a lot of damage? This is why, okay? It also counts, um, it, it, it's also recoil damage. It's any damage. So the recoil damage from my suicide, the bleed damage, and the poison damage, all of those are subject to that 75% damage resistance. And that's why you see me even healing up sometimes. All right? So... He is tanky as anything. He's more tanky than I think anybody because of that third bullet point, that 75% damage resistance. That's crazy. So in the fight now, I was having a little bit of a problem. And I was trying to dash back and it wasn't letting me. For a lot of times when uh, Apocalypse was... Uh, firing his special, I usually will, especially with the special one, I'll evade the last part of it. And you'll notice that it wasn't moving, but I was trying to evade. All right. And it was happening a lot. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to take the block damage. Now, Apocalypse, one of the big things with Apocalypse is his block damage. He does a lot of block damage, but we have 75% damage resistance. Now you saw that I popped a uh, invulnerability boost, right? So I did mess up and got hit three times, but look at the health that I finished the fight with. Okay. So I love Spider-Man 2099, even though I got him four times in the, uh, when I went for Hercules in the, um, uh, uh, the uh, featured crystal. And I was not happy about that. I did want to get Spider-Man 2099. I didn't mind getting him twice, but I didn't want to get him four times. But it's useful. And as you can see, he is awesome. Uh, they do ban him a lot, but that's fine because they can only ban three people. So they try to ban um champions that will make a lot of other things easy you know they ban ghost they ban magneto um they ban human torch but they can't ban everybody that's good and spider-man 2099 he embarrasses a lot of bosses you see the the fight took a while 
but I still ended up with like half health and I finished the fight. I don't remember um, what rank that apocalypse was, uh, but Spider-Man 2099, very good boss killer. All right. But that's going to do it, guys, for the video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.